Off with the old, on with the new. This is the day that the Lord has made and we will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the beginning of a new day, leaving the past behind. This is the beginning of a new day, my destiny to find. It's so important to maintain this perspective as we move forward. No matter if the season seems dry and things are not happening as fast as we would hope, we must remain in Him. Remain in faith because we live in God's promises. We can move forward in hope and expectation even in the midst of adversity. It will require us to remain close to Him. It's a time to wash away the disappointments from the years of delay and not carry them into the new season. Hope deferred makes the heart sick. And we must throw these things off so that we can move forward with great expectation. Walk into the new season with confidence that God is on the move. It's time to turn off the external voices that fill you with fear. It's time to stay close to the one who loves you. Stay close to his word. We can continue to thrive even if the season is tough, but we must lay down those disappointments that will try and keep us grounded. Just as God caused Joseph to have favour and prosper as a slave and even in prison, He can cause you to have favour. It's time to rise up, rise above those things we see around us and see heaven's perspective and speak those things into being. God has not been sitting by ignoring what is going on in the world. He is moving by His power. The gates of hell will not prevail. The lies, the deception and the corruption will be revealed and they will be dealt with. It's time to speak into the atmosphere God's plan, His will, because nothing is stronger than the Word of God. It is a time of receiving God's revelation on what is going on and live with no fear, no lack. The prayers that you have been praying have not gone to waste. They have been stored up and are about to be poured out and they will bring change. 
in this coming season, we will see change. We will see abundance where there has been lack. That's why we cannot face the year with fear, but with faith. what God is doing. Yes, there are still some shakings, but that is needed to shake some things loose. There is more going on than we can see and know and understand with the natural eye. Things are not as some would have us believe, and the covers will be lifted off and truth will be revealed. Sometimes it looks like nothing is happening, but God is on the move. We'll see things happening in the courts and in other areas that will bring change. This is a time for us to realize the importance of our words to declare God's truth for this coming season. Proverbs 18.21 says, Death and life are in the power of the tongue and those who love it will eat its fruit. Proverbs 13.3 says, The one who guards his mouth preserves his life. It's time to position yourself to receive and to conceive new things. It's a year of choices, a year of change, a year of charging forward. A time to step forward where you have stepped away because of discouragement. Walk in with eyes wide open as to what the enemy has been up to and what is behind it. No more deception. It is a year to walk together and see advancement in God's kingdom. Yeah.